Hi, and welcome to another Hopper on Microcontrollers video. This one um, isn't really about Hopper, but about the microcontrollers. Um, because I've been testing so many different devices uh, to make sure Hopper, a single version of the firmware, can uh, flash onto all these different uh, RP2040 um, compatible devices, I think I'm in a pretty good position to show preference. I'm not sponsored by anybody, so this is just personal opinion. So I think that um, the Pi Pico is overdue for an update, even if they don't redo the Pi Pico, but the Pi Pico W, they should do both of them. And there's um, two things wrong with this board, <clears throat> obviously wrong with this board. The first one is that it still doesn't have a USB-C connector. And if you use them a lot and you keep unplugging and plugging, you end up with a spare USB connector that, and a useless board, right? So this will eventually break off because they, they're fragile. They've only got tiny little pins on them and they're not very well attached. Um, same is true of this guy, the original. Still no USB-C and, and still no reset button because if you had a reset button, you'd have to unplug and plug it in less often because without a reset button, that's how you reset it is by unplugging it and plugging it back in again. So in, in contrast, um, I've been working on many boards. So um, what do they all have in common, the ones I like? USB-C, a boot button and a reset button, right? This one here from Waveshare. Reset button and boot button, USB-C, right? And um, this one here from Adafruit, it's a really cool board. It's in a Uno form, form factor, but it has a USB-C. It has a reset button and the boot button's on the other end of the board. Yeah. So they all have that in common. Um, another one, uh, this is my favorite Wi-Fi board uh, from a Swedish company. It's called the Challenger 2040. So USB-C and then they have uh, two buttons, a reset and uh, a, boot, a boot select button. Right. Anyway, that's my rant about I think these things need a refresh. It, you know, they just need to make new versions with uh, USB-C, and while they're doing that, add a boot, add a reset button. In the meantime, um, you can add your own reset button. So, uh, when your program stop, has something goes wrong, or you want to restart it because you've made a change, um, that's your reset button there. So. It should flicker there it's my flickered to restart and now it's restarted so how do you add a reset button um, all you do is you ground this pin it's called it's actually called the run reset pin if you look at the um, if you look at the pin out it's called the run reset pin here um, so you just ground the run reset pin so uh, let's have a look at that again. So yeah, so you just take that pin three button to ground. That's it. So if I want to restart this in the middle of what it's doing, let's try that. Let's wait until it's in the middle of something. And we'll hit the reset button. Little flashing at the back to show that it's restarted. And there we go. And we have a reset button. So as opposed to the other way of doing that, which is to unplug that and plug it back in again. And that does the same thing, but you do that enough times. And like I said, you're going to end up with a spare one of these. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope that the Raspberry Pi Foundation um, does a refresh.